What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Rashid in Street Fighter 6. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Rashid, some best strategies when using him, and of course some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Take it one step at a time. Now, two things as we get started, my dudes. First, if you enjoy fighting game content, make sure to subscribe here for more because we have new videos Monday and Friday and we stream at least twice a week. Secondly, notice we are using modern controls for this guide. However, everything you see here can, of course, be utilized when using classic controls as well. And I don't want to hear you in the comments be like, why are you using modern controls? Those are for sissies. Shut up, stop whining, and let's get into it. Rashid is a very, very fast character and a big mix upper. He's all about getting in your opponent's face. Even from far away, he has so so many ways to get in. First and foremost, he has a run. You dash and hold and you can run. That's crazy. If you press medium and heavy while you're doing forward, you do that cartwheel, you do it again, you jump. And what a great way to get in there from far away. You can change that trajectory of that jump by holding forward or back. Now we'll go over a lot of his air current abilities a bit later, but for now, his anti-air, this projectile of his, if you hold it, you get this air current, that little tornado right there, okay? Now if you jump while you're in that, you get a far jump. So watch this, we're gonna hold that for an anti-air, then jump with that, boom, we're in their face. There's a lot more properties to that, but the jump is a big one as well. You also dash and run faster while you're in it. He's got tons of special moves to get in his opponent's face, like his back special, especially when it's enhanced. And that's also a combo starter, let's go. He's also got his down special back hit that does turn into an overhead as well. Point is, he's got so many ways to get in his opponent's face, and that's what you want to do with Rashid. And if you don't want to do that, well, good news for you. You got some awesome options. You have an amazing anti-air that goes forward and also goes straight up. So if they're jumping, be like, bop. But if you're a little further away, you can also enhance it just to reach on. For some more tips and tricks regarding Rashid's moveset and his specials, keep in mind his enhanced anti-air is completely invincible, making it a great option for reversals and counter hits. If you're close enough, your enhanced back special here, the Eagle Spike does switch sides. So if you're close enough, like I said, enhance it, switch sides, now what do you do? Well, it's great if you're in the corner and you wanna switch sides with them, boom, now they're near the corner, allowing you to put the pressure onto them. Now Rashid has an anti-air by himself, sure, but he's also got a great projectile anti-air, which is his neutral special here. And what's cool about that is you can send it far or closer by holding the direction close to you or far away. So if we do the special and we just hold forward, see how far that went? If we hold towards us, it's gonna be a bit closer. If we don't hold, it'll be like in the middle. And again, you can hold that special to get the air current to help you get in there if it misses. It's really good for stopping projectiles, like Ryu for an example. Psych, psych. The enhanced version sends it on the ground and mix them up. Like if they think they're gonna throw an anti-air, be like, psych, no, on the ground, let's move in. You go back to Rashid's run mechanic. If you press light during the run, you get a low hit. And it switches sides. If they're expecting the low rush in, do medium or heavy to get a nice two-hit combo there, just to throw them off their guard. Keep in mind, during your down special move, this cancelable special, you can actually press forward attack or back attack to do two different things. Forward attack, you actually roll, and that goes beneath enemy projectiles as well. If you press back attack after your down special, then you rush in, another great way to get in, and you can press light, medium, or heavy for an overhead hit. For back attack, overhead hit, now we're going for a combo. You can also extend your roll into an attack as well if you wish, just a forward, and then hit them, and that works at their other specials too. Rashid also has a couple interesting things in the air. He is the wind god, the air god himself, basically speaking, right? So he's got a lot of cool stuff in the air. He's got an air special that as you saw, kind of delays the timing of his jump ins, really throwing your opponent off guard. So if they're expecting a jump in, try to do an anti-air side, we're doing an attack. You can also enhance it. He also has an air grab like other characters do. So if you're expecting a jump in, you can either do an anti-air this way or jump grab or air special. Not only does he have an air special and an air grab, but he has a very special air attack with his down heavy. So normally his heavy in the air is his kick, right? Which is good, but if you hold down heavy in the air, you see what happened there? Not only is that move cancelable, but also we jump away from our opponent. So this is gonna be one of your best ways to throw your opponent off guard for sure, because you can hit it even on block, get away, air special come back to them, throw them off their guard, continue a combo. As I said earlier, with your cartwheel move, your medium heavy together forward, that's a great way to get in, sure, but it's also a great way to switch sides. But if you're in the corner, side now you're in the corner. Again, just another way to throw your opponent off their guard like crazy. Now to go over Rashid's super arts, his first super art's pretty dang good. 
If you hit it neutrally, that's what it does. You can also do in a combo as well. The Super Art 3 is just a good damage combo, pretty quick on startup, but by far his best super that's already causing a lot of controversy online is his Super Art 2. It creates this giant tornado that just causes a couple things here. It gives you cover, it does damage, and it gives you that current buff as well. All those things, look at this. Now we get our hits. Even if our opponent's gonna block it, Okay, keep blocking, that's totally fine. But again, the best part about it is we get that buff ourselves. We can jump in, create that pressure from our opponent. What are they gonna do, block both of us? The answer is no, you're hilarious. And what a great way to do combos though too, right? There's a ton more and combos you could do with a Super R2, but again, to put it simply, you have cover, damage, and the current air buff, which enhances your specials as well. So for an example, your down special enhance gives you that hit, but also that air buff. You see that there, right? While we're in the air buff, our anti-air enhance, we get to enhance it again with another enhanced special while we're in the air. So normally our anti-air enhance, this is how it ends. We can't really do much more, right? With the buff, we actually can enhance it again so it does use a lot of bars. It's not typically always the best option to use. It's pretty situational, but it does enhance your other specials, like I said. With your down special, you can also kick your Super Art 2 Tornado towards your opponent if they don't want to come towards you. Oh, and also a hilarious side note is Rashid can jump off walls. All you gotta do is buy the wall, just press, you know, kind of forward and jumping at the same time. He'll jump off the wall. What? And then from that jump, air special, psych. A great strategy that I like to do for Rashid is honestly throw out the anti-air projectile, make him guess while you're holding, you get that air current buff, jump in, throw him off the guard, go for a combo. And this can go one of two ways. You can go straight for the combo. or make him guess again by doing your air special while in the air. What's awesome about Rashid, and here's some strategy you can use. He's got a lot of good combo sherp. He's got great pokes and cancelable normal moves. So for an example, his standing heavy, not cancelable, but he's got really good range. Even his medium kick's got pretty good range. One of his best pop-ups is his medium punch, medium kick, or in modern, you have assist medium, medium, and that's great, because that goes into a lot of specials. You can do a down special, you can do an anti-air, you can do both. Also, quick tip while going over strategies here, is while you're running, you get a bit more distance on your forward jump. Also, you're running light, the slide that's kind of a low hit there goes under projectiles as well. So again, the best strategies with Rashid is just get in their face as much as possible. Keep them on their toes. What are you gonna do? You're gonna do an overhead? You're gonna go for the light attack, switch sides? Are you gonna be a menace in the air and do your heavy into a special and to mix them up? Don't let them jump in with your anti-air projectile game. Charge it and suck them out, jump in. Now for some fun and easy combos to get you started with Rashid today. Of course, all those combo routes can go many different ways, up to you to decide what you want to do with those routes. These are just some bad boys to get you started. Rashid is an absolute animal, both on the ground and of course in the air. Let me know down below what you think of Rashid. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Are you gonna main him? Let me know down below. Remember to subscribe for more fighting game content, and as always, my dudes, take it one step at a time.